it is so good to be back. So I don't know if you guys know, but I was on a much longer vacation than I was supposed to be. So a little while ago, I think it was maybe four or five weeks ago, I went to Utah and I was there for two weeks. Once I got back, my mother went to Kansas for a week, which gave me a little bit of time to make a couple videos. But then as soon as she got back, we went camping for a weekend, right? That was supposed to be the end of my vacation. However, on the drive back from camping, a buddy of mine's father asked if I could watch his family's house for a week. Okay, that's all right. I thought I'll just come home every so often and make videos and then I'll go back and watch the house, right? That ended up not being able to work because once I got home, my microphone, my Caddy 300S, started making weird buzzing noises, so I'm using this in the meantime while I ship that back. And that was, I thought, supposed to be back by the time I got back, and unfortunately it's not, so I'm a little worried about that. However, yesterday, while I was house-sitting, it was the last day, I decided to take the dog for a walk. And she got a little excited once I said, would you like to go for a walk? And she jumped on me and did this. That hurt a little bit, and that cut a little deep, so I went into the bathroom and uh, clean myself up, crying like a little girl. Um, full disclosure, no, I wasn't. Some would call it heroic. Others would call it a near-death experience, you know. But I just wiped it off, shugged it off like the man I am. And I left the keys on the bathroom counter. And then I locked the door behind me and <laughs> locked myself out for that day. So, ah, my vacation is finally over. I get home, there's a lot of boxes waiting for me in the P.O. box, and I figure, you know what, instead of just jumping into YouTube, especially without having a mic, I'll just go ahead and do a P.O. unboxing, make it easy on myself, and, you know, kind of get back into the rhythm of it. And hopefully my mic gets back pretty soon. Either way, enough dilly-dally, let's jump into these packages. So, I don't know about you guys, but I got a little bit of a weird feeling on this one. It seems to be leaking glitter. And I kind of wish that I didn't know that, so then the joke is all, oh, you got me, but, I mean, come on, it's all over the place, it's already all over my desk. I guess I still have to open it just in case something else is in there, but I'm pretty sure it's just a glitter bomb. Ugh, God. Oh, yeah, that's actually just gonna get everywhere. Gross! Ugh, why would you do this? It's like, oh, thanks. Let's party. Oh, you serious? So yeah, it's it's just a glitter bomb. That's fine. I'm uh, I'm glad I opened it over this and not on my floor. That'd have been fantastic. Oh, now my fingers are all glittery. Did someone say right in the garbage? A hydro named jellyfish. New magical. Go up and down and float. 360 degree rotation. So I guess you. What? Ugh, gross. He fell in the glitter. Alright, well, that's him. So I guess we just throw him in water. So according to the instructions, you're supposed to put him in a plastic bottle, clean it thoroughly, pour out the water. The bottle's surface must be smooth. Uneven surfaces will affect the performance. Well, I wish I would have read that before I uh, just threw him in here. It doesn't look like it's going to do anything in this water bottle. I don't really have other water bottles to, like... I it's I, I guess you get the point, though. You're supposed to be able to squeeze it and, and throw them around and stuff. And it, I, don't, I don't really see the point. But, all right, you know, I can't drink this water now. That's, that's the only thing that this guy did. Cool. Ugh, oh, God, those glitter bombs are the worst. Even when you see them coming, they still make a mess of everything. Oh, cool. Okay. One of these pens with the different colors. I hate how this autofocus works. It always focuses on the background instead of what's right here in front of it. There we go. Yeah, okay. So, just one of those pens. Um, we've got a little bag with... Oh, okay. A little rock. It looks... This actually looks more like glass. A little bitty fidget spinner. Neat. And then, uh, regular dice. Let's see what his letter says. So, he put a Taiwanese dollar, um, at least according to him, in the, the letter. I really like that. I'm actually thinking of visiting Vietnam in, uh, actually at the end of this year. 
Woo! So that's actually cool. I'm gonna add that to my collection. This is a glittery dollar because that other prick. This next package is pretty big, and if I had to guess, I think there's candy in here. Um, you guys sent me Mexican candy last time, at least one of you guys did. And I gave most of it to my brother. So, it looks like someone just took apart a bunch of different- Oh, this is a laptop. Oh, someone took apart their laptop, it looks like. Maybe not. No, oh, yeah, that's a laptop. There's the processor. Uh, what is this? Nah, I can't tell. Yeah, so it looks like someone just ripped apart their laptop. Uh, there's the wireless card. The, the wireless chip, it looks like. Oh, man. There's the keyboard. What is that? I don't even know. There's a button in there. Um, so, what we have here is we've got some laptop RAM. We've got a CMOS battery. Uh, these things look like little watch batteries. And essentially, they just tell time when the motherboard's off. Uh, there's the Wi-Fi chip, there's your processor, there's a little fan for it. Um, I would assume that blows on the CPU or GPU. And then, of course, you've got your big battery. And then he said that this is a little USB 2 gigabyte stick, but it doesn't work. Um, so, not super interesting, but yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, that's the important innards, I would say, of a laptop. So, that's pretty cool. Thank you for sending that to me. Oh. Okay, what's this? Instant snow. Excuse me, just add water and erupt? Are you serious? You guys want me to make a mess. All right, yeah, all right, I'll make a mess. Let me go grab some water. All right, so according to the instructions, um, we just add water and we get instant snow. Ages, ages six and up. Well, I mean, that seems simple enough. Let's just go for it. Just gonna throw that in there. That's our instant snow, I guess. And we're gonna take our little squiddly diddly water guy. How much water am I supposed to add? Does it say? He says one, two, three. Fill a cup with instant powder. Pour in some water, and watch it erupt. I mean, oh, oh crap, actually, whoa. That did it right before my, oh uh, man, I missed it. So if you can see, oh God. Oh, gross. Oh, do I need more? I might need more water. Whoa. It actually is kind of, it, it solidifies, gross. It solidifies pretty much instantly, and then it feels all, Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I actually don't know how to explain what this feels like. It definitely doesn't feel like snow. It just feels like uh, some mushy, gooey, gross. There. Now it's powdery and a little glittery, too. Oh, man. Let's see if I can... Oh, whoops. Don't want to do that. Yep. That's snow. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for uh, sending that to me. That's actually quite a little more interesting than I thought it was. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what's inside that. But, uh, yeah, now i got to go wash my hands again. All right, hopefully we're done making a mess. What's going on here? It's dangerous to go alone, male bullet berry. Very nice. Oh, I love this. Ooh, computer stuff. Yeah, so we got a 2014 penny. Uh, we get ourselves a regular quarter. Uh, we got some laptop RAM. Um, DDR3. Laptop RAM. And we've got ourselves a little hard drive. A little Hitachi. Oh, this is actually from an Apple computer. Oh, cool, okay. Next up, this little green package. It says on the back, hold your thumb on the stamp, but I don't know why, because there's nothing on the stamp that looks like it needs to be held. I don't I don't know if he just wants me to cover up where it was sent from. 
Um, if that's the case, I'll just hold it this way. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, so he sent me a British one penny from 1911. That's actually really cool looking. Oh, very nice. I really like that. Thank you so much. Ooh, I'm gonna have to clean that off there. Uh, but it looks like we got ourselves a processor. A newer looking one too. I'm gonna clean this off real quick. So some of you may have noticed that my fingers are a little messed up sometimes. I've got a chewing problem. I chew on my nails a lot and I didn't, I don't know. I've done it since I was a kid. It's a weird nervous habit that I have that I need to uh, figure out how to fix. I mean, uh, I tried a lot of stuff too. I tried sunflower seeds, the Rubik's cube. All right, what's, what is this? A G4400. So not as new as I thought it was. It did seem a little uh, bulky, but I took a guess. Yeah, not bad. Also, you can tell uh, the color, oh, whoops. Uh, the color here can kind of indicate how new it is. So very nice. Thank you so much for sending that. All right, so now we're moving on to some bigger packages, which I have four of. Let's just go ahead and jump into, uh, oh man, this is gonna be a pain to open. What? Whoa. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Yanis. Okay, so I know who sent these to me. Yanis did. Yanis sent all four of these packages. These are... He sent me two 1050 TIs? Oh, I am building someone a computer now. Are you joking me? Yanis. That's way too kind. Oh my god. I gotta I gotta find out what's in the rest of these packages. That's insane. This is a this is a much different episode than I typically do, so let's uh let's go ahead and open this. So he sent me a non-modular power supply from Fractal. Wow, I wonder if he wants me to build him a computer? Is this like for the business thing that I'm doing? Yanis, oh my god, I need to know. So what, what, it's a 650 watt. Okay, this will totally work those 1050 TIs. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just getting s components for a brand new PC right now. Um, I wonder what's in this one. This is also from him. Oh man, is that a motherboard? I swear to god, dude. If you send me a full PC, and it's not for you. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna flip out. All right. So this one is very different. This one has a bunch of different stuff in it. Doctor Who, Sonic Spork. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Um, I'm not really into Doctor Who. I need to get into it. I just started getting into uh, some other um, Netflix shows. So once I'm done with those, I'll, uh, I'll start on Doctor Who. That's that's really cool. Um, up next. We have what looks like a towel. It looks... Looks kind of vintage video gaming. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so you don't see that. Give me a sec. I'm going to have to go back here. And, uh... Yeah, so there's like pirate ships and it, it goes into like a big skull. Um, we've got some Back to the Future memorabilia, but I want to show this off first. Okay, little Zelda wristband thing. It's got the Triforce and the little bird on it. So yeah, this is, this is the stuff I really like. Back to the Future hoverboard. It's a scale replica of the hoverboard from Back to the Future. We've got ourselves a... This document is a 1 of a 5 scale of the... Back to the future bullcrap. Alright. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like how they did that. Okay, so it makes it look like it's hovering. Yeah, that's a pretty neat thing, especially if you like Back to the Future, which I very much do. It's one of my favorite movie series of all time. Um, it seemed to go on, if you haven't seen it, it seemed to go on a little long, like they didn't need to make the third one. But you know what? It was such a fun adventure, I don't even care. All right, sorry about that. I'm moving the box so I have room. Um, also, uh, I put the mic right here, so if there's a bunch of noise because I'm moving around on the table, sorry about that. Um, okay. 
This is probably PC screws. Yeah, it's just a box full of PC screws. Um, Exploding Kittens. A card game for people who are into kittens and explosions and laser beams. <laughs> and sometimes goats. <laughs> oh, this sounds like a lot of fun. What? A special gift for you. There's a kitty explosion right there. Here are the rules. Oh, what in the world? So you draw a card. If you play matching pairs, pick another and steal a random card. Oh, man. Okay. And here's the little decks. These are kind of nice. I, I like the art on these. Deploy the thousand year back hair. Gross. Okay. Diffuse. The laser pointer. See the future. Feast upon an enchilada and gain its enchilada powers. What? This is a weird game. Alright. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to play that. Um, next we got a t-shirt, which, oh, cool, okay, I cannot, I cannot put this on the glitter thing, F you glitter thing, this is a Breath of the Wild t-shirt, Zelda Breath of the Wild t-shirt, oh, I'm so gonna wear this, this is nice, so I haven't really played through Breath of the Wild yet, but I like this shirt, I really like the way this looks, that's nice, I really like this, okay, Corsair, I like these. Oh, this is a silent one, too. This is one of their silent editions. Okay, so silent fan. And then this is really interesting to me. An external slim Asus DVD. I like these things. You plug them in um, to your laptop, your computer, whatever, and then you just have a disc. I like having one of these. Uh, these are really important to me. So that's really cool. That's especially if you have a case that doesn't have a DVD drive. Those are really nice to have. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this. This is the last package. A 160 gigabyte PlayStation 3. Oh my god. Wow. I've actually never had a PlayStation before. So. Oh, wait a minute. Is there even a PlayStation in there? Is that something that comes standard? There's a Mario Kart deal. Oh, it is not! It is not a PlayStation. Alright, it's a Mario Kart wheel I want to move this back because there's something in here it, it looks like one of those uh, those things that you put on your your window oh yep it's totally one of those things that you put on your window and it uh, keeps it all all nice and uh, cool in your car while you're gone so there's that Cool. Got a lot of video game stuff all over my car now. Um, and then there's more in this box. I actually see a motherboard in there. Um, but I want to get to that later because it looks like the rest of the PC components. God, I have to move this camera around a lot this time. Okay. So we've got another fan. Um, an Antec and a s couple SATA cords. Those are nice. We have an internal... DVD drive. Um, nice optical just in case. Is this Windows? Is this a copy of Windows? Yeah! Windows 7. A copy of Windows 7. Very nice. I'll make sure that I didn't uh, put the code in there so you guys can't have that. Wow! This, this is just all the stuff to build a really nice media PC. Uh, here's finally the letter. I'm gonna have to read that. And then this... Oh, wow. I hope this is real. An Asus Prime Z370. Oh, my God. No. Okay. Okay, so it's not the Asus Prime Z370, but it's a gigabyte. Um, it's a gigabyte... GAZ67? It's the... So this is the Intel i5-3330. So this is the third generation board, which is not bad, and especially he got a stick of RAM in there too. So this is just all the stuff to build a PC. Yanis, you sent me all the stuff to build a PC. I, I gotta read your letter. Wow, that is so cool that you did that. So in one, he, uh, he sent a coin. Not exactly sure what that is. 
Uh, lats? Does it say lats? Wow! Okay. So I keep thinking that one of these is going to be a letter, but it's, it's not. It's just money. Latvius Bankas, uh, Nadius, Nadas, Zim. I am, I am butchering this. I'm not very good at, uh, other language. My, <laughs> my English accent gets in the way a little too much, unfortunately. So we got one more letter. I swear to God, if it says nothing in there. Oh, there we go. Hello, Barry. I did split everything in multiple packages. Both GPUs are two, six, two gigabyte. One of the GPUs does not work. Okay, so they're not 1050s. Okay. T-shirt is not new. That's fine. There are also a bunch of random things. I don't need them. Um, hoping you can use those PC parts. CPU is 3.2 gigahertz. I think it has four cores. RAM is DDR3, eight gigabytes. Yes. Wow. Okay, so they're not new parts. Um, and I, I guess I should have noticed that when the, uh, when the rest of the stuff um, was kind of... Old. So it seems maybe he did an upgrade and then sent me his last system. So I'm curious as to what uh, the GPUs are. GTX 950. Not bad. I like that. Okay. This one is a... Actually, I have no idea. It's a little gigabyte card. If I had to guess, maybe it's a... Uh... Oh, man. Another 950? Um, but it doesn't say, unfortunately. I'll have to look this one up. Um, with the numbers on the back, which is, that's totally fine. Um, so wow, Yanis, I just don't know what to say. Uh, thank you everyone, uh, who sent me stuff today. I just really didn't expect this to happen. Of all the PO unboxings that I've ever done, I don't think I've ever left my, my room this much of a mess. <laughs> but that is so okay for what you guys did. Um, thank you to everyone who sent me something. Special thank you, especially to Yanis, um, I feel like I, I thank you all the time. He also buys me video games and stuff. Like, he's just... That's way too cool. Um, so thank you all so much. Uh, what a welcome back into uh, making videos again. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.